We continue to track also the tropical storms carving a destructive and soaking path up the East Coast. Hello, everyone. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Kogel. Tropical Storm Elsa is now responsible for several injuries and at least one death. A person was killed in Jacksonville, Florida, when a tree fell onto a car. The storm has sparked multiple tornadoes down south in Georgia. A possible tornado at a Navy base flipped recreational vehicles upside down and even blew one of them into a lake. About 10 people were hospitalized in that incident. Now, the storm is moving north. A tropical storm watch has been extended up the coast all the way to Massachusetts. And we're keeping a close eye on Elsa, of course, as it makes its way up this way towards Maryland. Let's send it over to meteorologist Meg McNamara for more on what we can expect. Meg. Yes, yeah, so we have tropical storm warnings in effect. We have a tornado watch. We have a flash flood watch. So hopefully we've done a good job of preparing you all so you are ready in case we do start to see uh, any of this severe weather from Elsa here in our area. Two different batches of rain that look very different right now on the radar. So, uh, to the north and to the west of Baltimore, scattered thunderstorms from a disturbance. And then to the south, covering southern Maryland, that would be rain, of course, from Tropical Storm Elsa. We are still tracking maximum sustained winds at 45 miles an hour. So, we could see sustained winds as high as that, with gusts even higher, closer to 50 miles an hour, over portions of southern Maryland and the east. Eastern Shore. It is moving very quickly to the northeast at 20 miles an hour. We're going to see the center of Elsa move over southern Maryland, it looks like, later on tonight. And of course, it is packing heavy rain, could get two to three inches for most of southern Maryland, with isolated pockets seen even higher than that. I do want to send it over to Bob Turk, who has a look at the different threats we're tracking with this system. Hi, Bob. Yeah, we have several watches and advisories for all of southern portions of the region. Let's take a look at what we have on track. For southern Maryland, we do have a Tropical storm warning. That's a warning. That means these areas expect to see tropical storm force winds that's over 39 miles an hour by this evening. We also have a tornado watch, extreme southern bay. You folks in Dorchester, Worcester, Wacomico, Somerset County under that. Also a flash flood watch everywhere from Baltimore south and east, particularly Delaware, the lower eastern shore, particularly southern Maryland. Those areas could see three, four, maybe as much as five inches of rain, which could happen in a four, five, six hour period. That would initiate some flooding in some areas. Please be careful. Never cross a roadway that's have running water across it. Six to ten inches of water can actually take your car away. So as we always say, turn around, don't drown. Well, but clean up there in the forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Vic. Thank you, Bob and Meg. WJZ is tracking Elsa as it moves up the East Coast, including its effects on Maryland's East Shore. We'll have team coverage tonight at five, including WJZ investigator who will be live in Ocean City.